Hello there, my name is Glenn from I Train Hard Health and Fitness. I'm just doing this little vlog here today on how we hire a personal trainer and some of the things you should be looking at when it comes to hiring a PT. Um, the stuff I'm going to talk about today is through my experience and through stuff I've researched about and from what my clients tell me, but some of the mistakes they've made in the past when it comes to them hiring a personal trainer. So I believe a personal trainer is very useful for anybody and if you want to get the best, a personal trainer can help you motivate yourself and work out hard enough to get the best. And personally I believe that a personal trainer could help me get a lot fitter as well. And if I didn't believe that, then my job wouldn't make any sense to me. So I believe that a PT could even help myself. So what this, blog about, what this blog's about today is some of the things you can look for when it comes to hiring a PT yourself. The bad thing is here, there are some really bad personal trainers out there, and I don't go and slag them off to my PT clients. I just, let, I just know there are bad, unqualified PTs that just want to take the money and don't really care about their PT clients, and some of them are not even qualified. So this little blog here is going to talk about some of the things you can do to help yourself distinguish between that good PT and that bad PT. So the, the first thing I want to cover is a speciality. All PTs should specialize in something or other. So I specialize in helping ladies above 30 years of age. And these women have some of the hardest times when it comes to losing weight due to some of the things that starts happening to them at that sort of age and their gender. Now, if you're a 40 year old man or a 50 year old woman, Whatever you are, you should try and choose a personal trainer that specializes in you. So a PT that just does everything, a generic personal trainer that helps everyone, they're not, they're not an expert in any one subject. So if you're a 40 year old woman or a 50 year old woman, should I say, going through, starting to go through the menopause and you're having issues with that, then surely a personal trainer that specializes in helping women lose weight during the menopause or a certain age is best for you. So that's what you should be looking for. You should be looking for a specialist that can help you lose weight at your sort of, whatever you do, whatever your age, whatever your gender, they, that's what you should look for. Not a generic PT, a personal trainer that specializes in your needs. That's the first tip there. Make sure they've got their speciality is your personal trainer. Also, they should have some sort of um, web dominance or some sort of social media, whether that be a web page, a Facebook page, Twitter, I think most PTs now are professional enough to have a website, a Facebook page, a Twitter account, and all of the above, and that, that makes sense. They should have a website. I personally have seven websites for different bits and bobs that I've been doing, but you should be able to find them on the internet and, re and research them. And the easiest way is to have a, have a website explaining what you do, have a Facebook page doing the same thing linked together, and have a Twitter page and a Google account and other stuff all linked together. So make sure they have some form of social media, it's very important. On that social media, they should have some testimonials. Now how do we know a PT or someone who's qualified, speciality PT, how do we know they're good unless they have these testimonials from real clients or real ex-clients explaining how that PT has helped them in their battle, in their struggle, in their losing weight or them getting fitter or them getting stronger or them doing an event. So make sure somewhere on that website or even the Facebook page, that PT has got testimonials, a big list of testimonials with real ex-clients and clients saying how good they are. Without testimonials, they may have just started out or they may not even be qualified or it could just be someone that thinks that they're a PT or they like the idea of being a PT but haven't got the, the prerequisite qualifications or the experiences to help people. To check out testimonials, they should have a number of them on their website. Another good thing to look for, and I think by now most people that are qualified will have a number of before and after pictures. These are the pictures of your new client coming up, maybe a little bit overweight, carrying a few extra pounds somewhere, some bingo wings going on. So the before picture and next to it, the after picture of how you've helped them. So the photographic proof that you've helped that client. So a good thing to look for on any website of a PT is a good, a good amount of before and after pictures of real, to, real clients losing weight with that PT. Now it's not hard to fake these. 
but have a, have a good look at these before and after pictures and make sure they're genuine. And if it's people in that local area, you may, you may even know them or you may have even heard about them. Um, one of the most important things for us personal trainers is word of mouth. So if you're a good PT, word of mouth spreads. You know, that all your PT clients, ex-PT clients and friends will tell their friends so you have a good word of mouth presence. <clears throat> Likewise, if you're bad, unprofessional, unscrupulous, lazy, not very good at your job, not really helping people lose weight, then that spreads, really, that spreads much worse. So you may spread three times if you're a good PT. If you're doing your job, if you're doing your job badly, that may spread ten, 100 times. So you can just ask around. And the good places to ask around about PTs are in hair salons, beauty salons, massage parlors. People like to, talk, talk, like to talk a lot. And we all know hairstylists love to talk. Too much sometimes. Only joking. Um, another important thing is if that PT is invested in themselves. So they've been invested in themselves by going on a number of courses. So for myself, I went on in my first year of being a personal trainer. I spent some money on a number of courses, massage, nutrition. I went on, went on some of the industry leader courses. So Dax Moy, I did Dax Moy's Body Map, Body Map Practitioner course. And that's an amazing course, really good. I learned a lot from that guy. I have big respect to Dax, he's pretty cool. I also went on um, a business course, again with Dax, and also Paul Mort. And Paul Mort's a bit of a ninja when it comes to business. So your PT should be investing in themselves. If they're not investing in themselves, maybe it's time for them to do so. If they're going to be a good PT, they should be investing in themselves to make sure they're providing a good service. The last point I want to cover here is, does your, does your personal trainer blog? Now, there's a number of ways that a PT blogs. Um, me personally, I blog on YouTube, as I'm doing now. I also blog on Storify. I stop on, blog on Aweber, which is an email marketing tool. And I blog on a site called Blogger, so Google Blogger. So I'm always blogging. And all my seven websites as well, I've got a blogging part of it where I put down all my thoughts, any top tips on nutrition, fitness, motivation. For me, the biggest thing is stress. I'm always trying to, before I do anything with my clients, is trying to de-stress them first, then look at nutrition, then look at fitness, health, all that, all that good stuff. So make sure they blog. And again, the way of finding out if they blog is search their name, go on their website, and make sure they blog. So hopefully here, some of these little assistant tips to help you find a good personal trainer should help you out and help you find the right person. So to recap, they should be a speciality PT that should specialize in you. They should have a website or some Facebook, that sort of stuff. They should have testimonials, before and after pictures. They should blog and they should invest in themselves. And ask around. They should have a good word of mouth saying how good, how good they are. So hopefully that little stuff, those little points there are going to help you find the right person for you. Um, please, please, if you like this, feel free to like it. I've got loads of other good YouTube videos on stress, sleeping, proprioception, other good stuff. So please have a look at my YouTube channel. Like it if you like it. And also please check out my personal webpage, which is www.itrainhard.co.uk, which is, which is this, this thing here. Ta-da! Cheers. Thank you.